I kind of had this um, questioning, I would say. It wasn't even a crisis, it was like a series of questions. After I graduated from my bachelor's, my BFA, which I did um, at the School of Visual Arts, and I started even thinking if I wanted to paint. So I started working at like multiple like startup galleries, um, uh, you know, uh, established like blue chip galleries. And it's through um, actually working on Ibrahim Salahi's uh, prison sketchbook so I had the opportunity to translate that sketchbook. As soon as I witnessed that and completed the project, I went back to my apartment and started painting giant paintings. Reading his um, prison notebook just resonated with me so much because I haven't been to Kuwait for like a year and a half and that was a lot for me. And I was feeling homesick. the finjabs over here. It was something that I used to, you know, daydream about while I was in New York, really. And I love to include it uh, within my work as this, you know, signifier of homesickness. It's always interesting to me or intriguing to see, you know, the object and its representation. And I used to just dream about being here and being able to kind of access my research, you know, in person. So one time I had this um, sensation while I was in New York in my tiny, small studio apartment. I was like praying multiple prayers because I missed all of my prayers during that day, I'm gonna be honest. So I sat in my thobe. I felt like it was almost like a skin. And I kind of felt that barrier in a way between the skin and the garment itself. And I started thinking what lies in between. This is where I started to kind of envision the bodies that are on my canvas. It's like a merging of the thobed body and the fleshed body. I want to as well see how people will interact with it and how they're going to be able to access it regardless of their gender, regardless of their race. And that's why I don't explain my work on social media because I enjoy how people can have different access points. And I wanted to give my culture a chance, basically. And I think that's what I'm after, really. I'm after kind of reclaiming things that I already know, and I feel like I'm gonna do that for my entire life, really.